Happy Sunday, everyone! How is everybody? My name is Makeup Mandy. I am, well, my name is Mandy, and I'm with MakeupMandy.com. All the products we're going to talk about you can find at MakeupMandy.com, um, or you can message me and we can have a little conversation to make sure you are getting what you need. Hey, Jody, thank you for joining me today. Um, so if you are popping on and you don't see that live button, then that means this is a replay, hashtag replay. Those of you who are jumping on right now, hi Sabrina, you are live. So <clears throat> I'm going to do a full face today, um, Sunday, I got some time. Um, however, what I did just do, um, I washed my face and uh, then you guys uh. just saw me put on the serum. So the serum is part of Uology. Hey Ravi, um, Uology is absolutely amazing uh, for the skincare, uh. okay? So this is, you do not have a skincare line or you're not happy with your skincare line. If you're not happy with the way your makeup is sitting on your face, you need this Uology. So what it is, is it's four base products, um, a cleanser, a serum, <clears throat> and then you get a day cream and a night cream depending on. So every, every time you wash your face, you're going to do um, three of those things. Um, and what makes it unique and amazing and why we are getting um, results like that is because you take a quiz and based on your skincare needs, you get boosters that go in each product, which means that this is specific to your skincare. There's 40,000 different combinations um, and it is amazing. So I just put on the serum um, and then let's go ahead. Hi, Christina. Let's go ahead and throw on some day cream while we're at it. You don't need to use a whole lot. It spreads very, very easily. Um, and we will get our day started. Get this started. Okay. So usually um, the serum and the day cream I will put on um, and let sit. So as soon as, hi Andrea, hi Jillian. So as soon as I wash my face, I usually throw on that um, serum, um, let that soak in. And then um, a little while later, I will throw on the day cream, but I left the serum in here instead of by my sink. And so we had to just do it all at once and we'll let that get on. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some eyes. I am gonna start with my eyes today and we're gonna move into that foundation. If you guys have been following me, um, you know that our liquid gold, the foundation, so I'm grabbing some primer right now, some eye primer um, that is on sale right now. It does not happen very often, basically just once a year. Um, this Flawless 4 collection only goes on sale once a year for sure. For the last uh, three or four years, we have had it. <clears throat> one time and it's right now so um i can color match you very very easily so let me know if you have any questions on that so the um eye primer that i just put on it's a little bit tacky so what it's going to do is it's really going to allow those eyeshadows to just stick and not move not spread if you have the issues where you know you use a lighter shade on your um, lid and you use a darker shade up here but then as the day goes on because you're opening and closing they mix together um the eye primer the eye primer will help prevent that from happening Okay, so um, I'm going to use a combination that I haven't used before. Um, we are just going to go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So I'm going to start with this one right here. It's called Laid Back. It has a little tiny shimmer to it. Um, it's called a satin, and I have to find a brush. Um, I'm going to have to clean off my brushes as we go because I haven't been using these colors. Speaking of that, um, brush cleaner absolutely amazing so you do one or two squirts on a brush um kind of kind of you know move it around like that and then you just rub it on your towel and you can use it immediately it disinfects and cleans the brush immediately there's no drying time in fact there is no water in the ingredients to this product um, so it's not wet and you can use it immediately so if you are using a dark color and you want to switch to a light color but you don't have another brush to use grab your brush cleaner and you are on your way so I've got it got my deluxe brush and I'm gonna grab laid back which is this lighter color and I'm just gonna tap it around. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a, it's not, I don't know what the right word is. It's, 
it's not it doesn't have a whole lot of color to it I guess is what I'm trying to say it's very light it's sheer it's kind of a sheer color okay so I seem to be putting a lot on because I'm trying to make it not sheer again these are not colors that I typically wear okay so now I'm gonna grab um this one right here this darker chocolate and that one I have been using with this brush so I don't have to clean it off um, grab a little bit here hello hello hi Renee hi Jennifer hello hello okay so we're gonna take the crease brush and I got that chocolate I believe it's called marvelous uh, and you notice that I'm going above the actual crease. See the fold in my skin? Can you see that? I'm actually going above that fold with this chocolate color. Reason being is that fold is exactly where your eye um, bends, I guess is the right word. It's your crease. And if you put the color directly into that crease, when your oh, eyes are open, oh. you're not going to see it. You're not going to be able to see that color. So if you're going to do your eye makeup, you want to go a little bit above that so that when your eyes are open, you can see the color. Okay. Hello. Hello. Happy Sunday. So again, this side, we're going to go in above that crease. And then what I do, so these, when these strokes, when I'm using the, um, the crease brush, these strokes are straight motions. I'm not doing little tiny circles. I'm doing a um, more of a windshield wiper. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry for that. <clears throat> a little tickle in the throat. Hi, Jill. Okay, so we're gonna come in and you just windshield wiper back and forth, again, above that crease line. <coughs> And then what I'm doing is I'm taking an angle fr towards from the corner of that eye, corner of that uh, crease color towards the corner of my eye. So it's just a straight line right there. And what this is going to do is it's going to help bring um, kind of elongate your eye shape a little bit <clears throat> um, by going um, up. Okay. So now we're going to grab um, our fluffy crease brush and let me clean this one off because I was using a maroon um, color. So again, just a couple of squirts, just mix it around and then wipe it on your towel. Get all of that, um, that spray off and then you immediately can use it. Look how white that is. Amazing, right? <clears throat> so we're going to grab this green one right here. It's a little bit. Now it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. There we go. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. So typically it's not something that you're going to put in your crease, but we are kind of defying makeup odds today. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going over the area that I went with that darker crease, that darker uh, chocolate color, and we're blending it. Blending it, okay? And what happens when you're doing this is sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes when you start with your makeup, you're gonna do your transition color first. But what I found with this brush, which is amazing, is that it really softens up that chocolate, that brown color, and that's what I like. And so I have started doing my darker color first and then softening it up with the uh, quote unquote transition color. Okay, now I might have to go back over this one. I might have just blended all of that chocolate in. I think we're gonna go over <clears throat> just a little bit. Cause I went very light on that chocolate cause I wasn't really sure exactly what this was gonna look like. I probably should have gone darker. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to that crease brush, clean off some of that chocolate, and grab some more of that green and bring that green down here. So 
just kind of brings them all together. And we'll clean up this area. This area, um, we'll clean it up with the foundation. Okay, so I'm going to go back to that laid back. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to pat it under that brow area. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm actually going to grab Discreet, which is this one right here, and I'm going to pat it right here. I don't think that laid back gave me enough color. Okay. So let us, what are we going to do? We are going to use, let's use, um... Let's use a chocolate brown eyeliner. Hey, Veronica. Hello, hello. Grab my sharpener. Okay. How is everybody? Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. I just went and got my nails done. Um, what are you guys doing today? So I went and got my nails done. We woke up um, and my son and I cleaned a little bit. And then, hey, Linda. And then, um, oh, I needed to box up some or uh, package up some makeup. So I packaged up some makeup. So those are going to, so if you have an order that you're waiting on from me, those are going in the mail today. Hey, Lois. Um, I don't know what's going on right here. I feel like this is not working out. There we go. There we go. That's better. Um, you like my nails? I was like sitting there when I was trying to figure out what to do and I, it was very spring-like outside. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Although this is more summer, right? But I've been doing very pale light colors lately so I thought um I would go bright and my toes are basically the same color they're a little bit different my toes are a little bit I would say more reddish but it's still bright like this okay all right so here is one trick when you're doing your eyeliner um if you come in underneath then you're really going to make it pop and make it look like you have a brighter or a more vivid, I would say, um, eyeliner. Oh, we build a fort thinking about getting nails done today too. Yes, today is the day to get nails done. How was the fort? How many kids you got, Veronica? I always found that when I would do, um, hey Jennifer, that when I would do forts with my kids, I would get stuck cleaning it all up. And then I got irritated. <laughs> um, okay, so liner, you guys. Um, see what I did on this side is I came in under the lash line and I'm kind of, I moved it like into the lashes themselves from underneath, not touching my eyeball, but touching this right here. And you notice that there is definitely a brighter, like a more vivid um, eye line here than on here. So always come in underneath. Oops, and fill in right here. And then you notice that I immediately straightened out my lashes. That's because this eyeliner, you have about 30 seconds for you to smudge it around and then once it's set, it's not moving. And that is the same if it gets into your eyelashes. I've had it before where I didn't, um, I didn't straighten out my eyelashes and then they were kind of going in different directions. Um, it's entertaining, yes, the cleanup, yes. Um, but it does entertain them and it is fun. My kids um, would used to build them in our living room and then like get their iPads and like watch movies in there and stuff. Um, the eyeliner, Linda, I used proper, which is a chocolate brown today. Um, so let's go ahead and do our eyebrows because it's bothering me 
looking at my eye without the eyebrows done. So I'm just using our um, brow pencil today. You guys notice I did a very quick video earlier this week that was just about the brow pencil um, and how to figure out how to shape your eyes or your eyebrows. So if you need, um, if you're trying to figure out how to shape your eyebrows, um, message me and I'll tag you in that video if you didn't see it. And I go through some tips and tricks for that. Now this pencil I really like. Um, the other end of it has a spoolie. And what it does is it really just softens up those lines to make it look more um, hair-like instead of having harsh, um, harsh lines. And it's very easy to use. Um, we also have a brow palette, which is very useful, but this one is definitely um, quicker to get you out the door. Uh, so let's go and do this other side here. So what I do is I um, outline the brow and then I'll spend time filling it in where needed. Uh, how do you pick the cow? Uh, do you go darker, lighter, try to shade over here? Okay, so um, the brow pencil, that's a really good question. The brow pencil comes in light, medium, and dark. So I use medium. If you are extremely uh, fair skinned and like very, like a toe head blonde, I think is what they call it, um, then I would go ahead and go with the light. Otherwise, medium um, works very well for most people. And then if you have um, very dark hair, very dark hair, then you can go with the um, the dark pencil. But that, it's pretty forgiving. Um, I used to, I didn't, not all the time, but some of the times, oh, I forgot, I still have to do my foundation. I hope I don't mess up my brows. I might mess up my brows when I do my foundation. Um, what I would do sometimes is I would take the dark pencil. And um, so this was the medium. Um, hey, Wendy, I would come in and go dark just underneath or maybe um, just on the uh, the tail, what we call it, um, and go dark right there. Um, but lately I've been just using one shade. Um, when you do the brow palette, um, the brow palette comes with two shades for that exact reason so that you can go lighter right here and go darker right here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and finish up our eyes and then um, I can see if I like this color. I can't, I, I am terrible. I am so terrible at being able to see the finished product um, that the whole time I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if my eyes look good. I don't know. We'll have to see. So when we get my mascara on, we'll see if I like it still and if I need to touch anything up. But for whatever reason, I'm terrible at that. Terrible, terrible. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our mascara and then we'll go on to our foundation. Um, in fact, while, before I do that, let me put my primer on so that the primer has a chance to set. You always want to give your um, primer a chance to set in um, and get where it needs to be before you do your foundation. So I take um, kind of a pea size, probably smaller than a pea size, um, and I'm going to kind of warm it up between my two fingers. And then what I do is I'm going to want it here, I'm going to want it here, and I'm going to want it here for the most part. And then you take and spread it around. And it is very silky smooth and it spreads very, very easily. So that little tiny bit that I did, hi Misty, is gonna kind of go everywhere on my face. Um, I don't need very much on the outskirts of my face, like this part right here, um, because I don't get oily out there, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's get that primer and let it sit while we go ahead and do our mascara. Okay, so I straightened out the lashes. Curl your lashes, ladies. I know some of you think that it's not worth the time that it takes. It is. It's always going to make your lashes look longer by curling them. I don't care. Hey, Misty. Happy, happy Sunday. Okay, so I start down at the base and then I kind of work my way up. And I do a soft like a, so a soft, uh, what's the right word? Like pressure on the lash curler. 
Okay. All right. So I sit on my mascaras. As soon as I sit down to do my makeup, I put my mascaras either, um, either I sit on them or I just put them between my legs. What that does is it helps warm up the gel and it makes it a lot easier to apply. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Epic Mascara. I am going to do 3D Fiber Lash Mascara as well. I'm back on the bandwagon of addicted to the lashes that they give me. I went for a while where I was like, oh, only for special occasions. But I'm back to daily use of the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. Now, I really like using Epic Mascara first still. Um, I think that it really covers my lashes better than the gel from the 3D Fiber Lash. Um, I just got a little bit of mascara, of mascara on, so give me a second. Okay. So I do the one coat of Epic, and then I kind of come in and do one more coat. Because you want the, um, you want the Epic to be still wet. So that when you put hygiene, so that when you put your fibers on, it gives it something to stick to. Okay, so the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. And it just makes them um, thicker and longer. It's almost like putting fake lashes on. But you don't have to worry about glue and you don't have to worry about a mess and you don't have to worry about them coming off as the day goes. Okay, so it's a little bit fluffy right now, but don't worry. We are going to take care of that. So let's go do the other side. So the reason why we're moving on, hey Kelly, the reason why we're moving on to the other side, even though we're not done with this, is um, I want that Epic Mascara to dry with the fibers on it. Um, and that way when you go back mm -hmm. over it to seal, if the fibers are, I mean, if the gel is still wet, then it's going to um, just pull those fibers right off. And we don't want that. We want those fibers to stay on. Okay. So curl them. Again, always curl. Take the time. It makes your lashes so much better. Okay. All right. So we're coming in with the Epic Mascara. I am using black waterproof. Epic Mascara, still my favorite mascara of all times, hands down. And the 3D Fiber Lash is just an um, enhancement to it. Now you'll notice in a second um, that I am going to use a different Epic Mascara to seal the, um, to seal the fibers. So now that Epic Mascara is wet and the 3D Fiber Lashes are going to stick right to those, to that Epic Mascara. Okay, and again, I got some mascara on my eye. So let me take, clean this up or try anyway. Okay. So this other side has been sitting here for a little while. So hi, Karen. So those fibers are there and they're dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gel that comes with the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara and we're going to go over it. What this does is it seals in those fibers so that they're not going to come off as the day uh, wears on. Okay, and I'm going to show you one more trick to that. Now, if you wanted to add more, in fact, why not? Let's go ahead and add more fibers. Go big or go home, right? So since that gel, that fiber gel is still wet from when me going over the lash, the fibers to seal them. Did any of that make sense? Okay, so I used the gel, 3D Fiber Lash comes with a gel. I use that to seal those fibers from the first coat. While that's still wet, I can go ahead and add more fibers um, to that and then we'll still have to seal it. You always have to go gel, fiber, gel. Okay, so in this case, I went Epic Mascara, fibers, gel. So gel, fiber, gel. Um, but you can build on that. Okay, so let's seal those fibers in on this coat. 
And let's go ahead and add some more. Okay, now let me show you a little trick. We are going to grab our um, blow dryer here. Oop. Oop, oop. Why is it not plugged in? Oh, did somebody use it? Hold on, let me plug it in. Kids, right? Somebody must have used it and then didn't plug it back in. All right. So you put it on high volume on medium heat. And you come in like this and what this is going to do is it's going to warm up that gel and those fibers are just going to melt right in while we're doing this you guys look at you can see my uh roots <laughs> it's pretty obvious now i'm going to take it and shoot it with cold air and what that does is it just kind of freezes it and this also helps um to curl your lashes as well okay so come in on this side let it warm up. And then also if any fibers fell on your cheeks, then it's just gonna um, blow that off. Or if you have any fibers that didn't get sealed down, it's also gonna blow those off, okay? <clears throat> now remember, we didn't seal that last group of, um, of fibers. So I'm gonna take um, my Epic Mascara now, I personally am using an older Epic Mascara just in case any of those fibers come off. I don't want it to get into my new uh, Fiber Lash Mask, I'm sorry, my new Epic Mascara and have it get clumpy and goopy, okay? So I just use um, an old mascara that um, I moved on from. And there you go. And these are sealed down. And again, hey, Raquel. Raquel, I still have some makeup of yours. I saw um, a bag with your name on it. Okay. So eyes are done. Let's go ahead and do the rest of our makeup. I'm still trying to determine if I like this color. I'm not sure if green... If green is a good color for me but we'll figure it out in a second well let's do let's do the rest of our um, foundation okay so the bundle right now okay the bundle right now is amazing it's our kudos um, every month we have something different on sale and it brings you as the customer amazing deals okay so right now we have what we call the flawless four it has the primer the concealer the liquid foundation and a setting product okay and you get to choose your setting product absolutely amazing and it's like $47 off that the the foundation alone is $39 so you're getting this massive savings um, so let's go ahead and start with our concealer sealer um, I grab scarlet which is the lightest color that we have if you are looking to highlight under your eyes then you are gonna go with a shade or two lighter than your foundation and then if you are looking to cover up maybe like a blemish or a um, uh, scarring or if you have extra redness um, like rosacea or something like that then you are gonna take um, a foundation you're going to take a concealer, which is the same color as your foundation. Okay, so while I was talking right there, what I did is I took a little bit of primer and a little bit of concealer and I mixed them together. I just used the tip of my finger and then I used this brush to mix it around. Okay, so what that does is it kind of um, softens up that concealer so it's not um, very heavy. Um, it, our concealer is pretty darn thick and it's great to give you amazing coverage but if you are um, if you have maturing skin like I do I'm 42 41 years old um, then what happens is that concealer will settle into fine lines and you don't want that so I just softened it up with a little bit of primer it was probably about 60 40 is kind of the, the combination that I used, okay? With concealer being more. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let this sit. We want this to warm up on our skin. 
Um, one thing that happens with that concealer is once it warms up, it will kind of spread a lot easier. Think of like butter, like I, that might be like a gross um, a, uh, example, um, putting butter on your face, but as butter melts, it just kind of spreads a lot easier. So that is what we're going for. Why we let this sit here and warm on our face, we are going to grab our um, liquid foundation. So, uh, excuse me, I am the color uh, tool. Uh, can um, I would say Scarlet is the lightest color of the neutrals, and this is one shade up um, in the neutral um, undertone. So it's really easy to color match you. Um, I ask you um, a couple of questions. One, I ask, do you tan, burn, or burn, then tan when in the sun without sunblock? Um, I don't know where my brush is. Somebody was like messing around in here, I think. Um, do you tan, burn, or burn, then tan when in the sun without sunblock? Do the veins on your wrist look bluish or greenish? Um, and then do you consider yourself a light, medium, or dark complexion? I don't know where my brush is. Oh, this is going to be sad. I have to use a different brush. Hello. Oh, well. oh. It was right in front of my face. It was right here the whole time. Okay. So, um, and then I did find, we're going to do one, one, two, three, four drops. Okay. And you take it and you just pat it around and then you, um, blend. Okay. So, um, I did find a new website that some brands of liquid foundation is listed or of foundation in general are listed. It's called foundation, foundation.com or foundation. Um, and what it does is you can put in the color of your current brand and you can search for different brands. So some of them are there. So what I will ask now is, Hey Zoe, is if you, um, what is your current color? Okay. And then I can help match to that as well. Assuming that you like your current color. All right. So now what we're going to do is take that other side of, this was the powder concealer brush. And I'm going to take this other side and I'm just going to softly, I'm being very, very soft. A um, couple of reasons. One, you want to be gentle with your skin in this area. If you're rough with it, then you're going to get wrinkles and nobody likes wrinkles. Okay. And then two, we just want to, um, you like my nails? I had to go bright. Dad was like, ah, you're blinding me. You guys don't know Zoe's my daughter. My daughter. Um Yeah, I just felt like uh I know I know it's springtime and not summertime, but I just felt like there was a need. A need. Okay. So, I'm being very gentle. So, oh, so another thing is if you have maturing skin like me is you don't want to have a lot of heavy product out in this area because that's generally where um, your wrinkles are, right? So you want it to be very soft. You want it to just kind of float on top. And that's another reason why that primer comes in handy because that primer is going to fill in some of those fine lines and some of your larger pores so that your makeup just floats on top of it instead of settling in. Okay. All right, pretty amazing foundation, right? I am thoroughly impressed every time I use it. Now I'm gonna take um, the Behold Setting Powder. That is what I'm gonna use today. So in this bundle, you get to choose if you want a setting spray or a setting powder. But what I'm gonna do with this concealer is just kind of pat it on. It says a fake bake. I'm not doing a full bake, um, but I am gonna kind of just bake as long as I can, let's just say. So baking, what that is, is when you're using a concealer, um, then, and you use a setting powder, then, um, the concealer stays kind of pliable and warm to your skin. And then the, um, setting powder becomes one with that concealer as it warms up on your face. And so that powder just kind of like melts into the concealer and it sets it. But what's also amazing about our setting powder is it has these uh, blur light, light reflecting properties, which um, it doesn't make it it doesn't make it um, shiny. In fact, you can tell that it's a very matte finish. 
but what it does is it helps diffuse um, any kind of darkness that you have under your eyes um, or find like uh, blemishes. It's like Photoshop, basically. It just blurs it all. It, it sends all the lights going in different directions and you can't tell that there's anything um, that needs to be covered up there, okay? So um, this is... Um, we're gonna let, so I pat it, I like I made it kind of thick under my eyes and we're gonna soften it up in a little bit, but we're gonna let it sit there and, and kind of become one with each other. So let's go ahead and do the rest of our face right now. I am gonna go with my bronzer. I'm using Sunset Bronzer, it's a powder bronzer. And you're gonna come in under your uh, cheekbones here. You're gonna create shadows on your face. You're gonna give your face dimensions and um, it's also going to make you look like you lost weight. And I'll show you here in a second, okay? So I'm going, we do, we call it a, an E and a three, okay? So that is what, that's the shape that you put your bronzer in. So I only did half of my face. Let me come down my nose here. And show you the difference and why bronzer contouring with bronzer is super easy as you can tell but super necessity is super necessity it's super I can't think of the right word so here we go you guys see that this side of my face looks thinner um, it looks more defined um, than this side right I just like look like one big blob on this side and I look like I have definition there so that is why you want to use a bronzer and because it's so easy and you come in when you do it under your chin you help um, reduce the look of a double chin okay because you're creating that shit that kind of shade and it makes it look like you have um, a more chiseled chin so just soften that up along the hairline and then along the nose. So for me, I do a lot right here because I feel like my nose is a little bit thicker right there, sticks out a little bit more. So you just kind of add that shadow there to make it look like uh, maybe there's not as much nose right there, right? So um, let's just go ahead and do a quick clip. <laughs> And then I'm going to play with my eyes because I think I need to soften up that shade. Let's see what we can play with here. So I'm using Pouty Lip Liner. Lip liners and the eyeliners are made the same way. So you have about 30 seconds to 60 seconds to smudge it around and then it's set. And then it's not going anywhere. And you're going to get a good like four hours out of this lip liner. Okay. And then let me see what color this is. Fortunate. What you think you like that color it's called fortunate all right ladies so we are done i am going to play around a little bit with this eyeshadow to see if we can get it more i feel like it's not blending very well or i didn't do a good job blending i should say i think that is a better way to put it so let's just go back when in doubt, blend it out is what I say. So you can just soften it up by going back and forth. But you don't want to go like out of bounds. Like you want to stay right where you want the makeup. Otherwise, it's just going to become a big um, like one color everywhere mess. So I want to stay with the colors. You guys are funny that you guys are still staying on. <laughs> I would have dropped a long time ago. You like the you like the green? I thought it would be like a good spring. Like especially with the shirts. I got like green the sweatshirt. I got like green and stuff on it. I don't usually wear it. Okay. 
I feel like this right here. Didn't, there we go. There we go. Clean that one up. All right. I think that's good. I think we're good. I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday. Thank you for joining me. Remember, you can get massive savings on the Flawless Floor Collection. Concealer, liquid foundation, primer, and setting. Um, so I use that setting powder, but I'm also going to use my setting spray. So you come over after you're all done and do um, a few squirts. And what this does is it protects your skin from the outside elements. Um, from you know like humidity breaking down your makeup um, things along those lines if you're gonna be cooking in the kitchen um, all that stuff where the setting powder will um, help set the products it will help um, absorb oils throughout the day so if you have oily skin you want the setting powder for sure it's really gonna help you um, thank you Jennifer I really appreciate that I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday and I will talk to you later bye